Welcome to the homework for grade 3, module 1. This is lesson 10. Pause the video while you write your name. If you forget your name, you're not going to get credit for any of this work. Uh, we're working on 6 times 3 equals something. We're using the distributive property uh, with arrays to look at these. And there we go. <clears throat> now, 6 times 3, we practice this a lot. We, we know it's 18. But this, the reason why we practice this method for adding, on to, adding rows onto arrays and adding factors together, we're just practicing the distributive property. This is really what we use to solve much larger multiplication problems in our heads. And you can do some crazy multiplication in your head using these methods with really large numbers. But we're not practicing with large numbers because it's too hard. Uh, it's too hard for third graders. So when you get better and you have more practice and you know your facts a lot better, you can use these methods to solve really large multiplication problems in your head and make it look frighteningly easy to people who can't do this. So we have to practice it first with smaller numbers, more manageable numbers, so we can get an idea and understand what we're doing. And how to work with how to solve some of the larger problems much later on. So that, that's why we're doing this. Instead of just writing 18 and being done, this is why we're practicing all of this. So we're going to start with two arrays. What if we start with, right, this is six rows of three, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And just so we've been doing the last few assignments, we're looking at two different arrays. We're looking at an array of four rows of three, and that's 12 of these trapezoids and then we're looking at another array here which is two rows of three which is six little trapezoids so this 12 and now we're going to add the products of these two equations that 12 plus this 6 is 18 which is the same as saying like we had in the beginning 6 times 3 is 18. And like I said in the beginning, of course, it's a lot easier just to be able to remember that 6 times 3 is 18. What if you can't remember it? You can work with, and there are easier combinations to work with, but we can talk about that later. But for right now, I mean, I would have done, if I didn't know 6 times 3 was 18, I would have done, I would have split it up into 5 and one more row of three because then I can because I can count by fives. It's easier to use twos, fives, and ones for things you don't know, but we're practicing. We're just practicing. Eight times two. So now here we're looking at this right here. Rows of two. How many rows of two? One, two, three, four, four rows of two. That's eight. And now here we have another four rows of 2, and that's 8. And so that's 4 times 2 and 4 times 2. There's 4 times 2, and there's the 4 times 2. And that's the same as this 8 plus that 8 plus that 8, which is the same as 2 8 8 times 2, 16, using your doubles. And remember, if it, I just went too fast and it didn't make sense, go back over and watch it again. You can watch it more than once. Make sure you understand where everything is coming from and where it's going. Um, it, you can watch as many times as it takes. No one will know how many times you watched it. We'll move on to Lesson 10 homework. Adriana. I mean, this, these things, this is not easy, especially in the beginning. So I, I hope these explanations are helping. Uh, lesson 10 homework. Adriana, this is our second page, she uh, organizes her books on shelves and she puts three books on in e each row. Uh, we're going to fill in the equations on the right. Those are these. We're going to fill those in and use them to draw arrays. We're gonna, so we're going to have to draw arrays that show the books on her top and bottom shelves. So here's the top shelf. You don't have to draw these labels. We can see what top and bottom is. But I just like to 
label these. So the top shelf, we have uh, something times three is 15. So there's going to be 15 books on the top shelf. Right, and there's three books in each row, so that's the three. So if there's three books in each row, how many do we need? How many rows do we need? How many rows of three do we need to make 15? Practice this one. There's six. Fifteen. It took us five rows. Three. Now you may have already known that it's going to be five, but we still have to draw the picture. And now we've got how many rows of three do we need to have three books? One row. One row of three. It takes one row of three to make three total books. And there's going to be a part B for this. This is the bottom half of the page. Adriana calculates the number of books as shown below. Use the array you drew to help explain Adriana's calculation. So we've got the six plus six times three. That comes from, and all we have to do is explain where everything comes from. Where is the six times three? What is that? What is the 15 plus three? What is that? And what's the 18? We just have to explain what these things are and where they came from, right? So we're looking at the 6 times 3, and what is that? It's 6 rows of 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows, and there's 3 in each row, so that's 6 times 3. And then she figured this out. Maybe she didn't know what 6 times 3 was. Uh, if she has been doing the same homework we've been doing, she's practiced it like every single day for a week and a half, because it's been almost every homework assignment so far. She knows that's she doesn't matter. Maybe she, but like I gave the example on the first page, 5 times 3 is a lot easier to know. And then she can just add one more 3 to it. And that's how she gets the 15 plus the 3. And that's how she gets to 18. So now we just have to explain that all. We have to figure out how to write that down. So, Adriana. Solved six times three by making do we just say what she did? Two arrays. She made two arrays. Uh, five rows of three and one row of three she added the total the totals of the arrays Fifteen plus three. Eighteen. And we could just say something that uh, there are six total rows of so this just kind of gets it all together here. So six rows of three equals 15 plus three, which also equals 18.